afternoon and we've just had a blistering run on this rod. We took some line but it's now sort of just slowly plodding around. Common carp of 17 pound 2 ounces. That was the uh, result of the bite you just saw. And uh, this one came on tiger nut hook bait, fished on a helicopter style air rig. We'll be explaining the end tackle and the lead setup to you in a few minutes so that you can apply that to your own fishing as well. Excellent. Um, we're going through some basic rigs that Bernay's been using and I've been using on the strip. Um, Bernay, just go through a set of uh, rigs of yours. Sure. Okay, look, the whole end tackle setup um, is basically just made up of Cordo's um, cable lead core, brilliant lead core. Basically, what we've got here is a helicopter lead system. Um, I know everyone's pretty much used to using the safety lead system because it's very convenient and it's easy to use but this definitely does have its applications. Yeah. Um, I can just quickly explain to you, or explain to the viewers why we're using this. Um, basically, the swim that we're fishing is quite deep, um, and when you cast out into the swim, because we're fishing such close, close range and we're feathering our casts, the lead actually descends on a pendulum sort of fashion. It just comes back. Comes, right, comes right back into the bank. Yeah. Um, so what happens is, with your safety lead setups. Often the hook link sort of comes back onto the main line. So of course, you don't want that really. Um, and this is a great way to get around that because it descends like this here. Yeah. So you would say this is basically a more of a casting rig setup? Definitely a casting rig setup, especially for silty bottoms. Okay. It's excellent for silty bottoms. Okay. Um, now, like I said, guys are using safety clip setups and um, that's the sort of thing that you see all over. Yeah. Now I noticed that you were using something different as well. Um, seems like a running sort of setup. What have you got there? Yeah, you know, I just got like a basic inline lead onto a lead core as well with the two stop ends beaded front at the back and it's quite like a free running rig. Um, so if the fish picks it up, the the lead is quite free, runs, hits the bead at the back and... So it's sort of like a shock effect. Shock effect and um, yeah, definitely is, is really working. Right, so this is basically your end tackle setup. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, lead core serves more than just one purpose. Um, it's also a very tough material. Yeah. Strengthens your whole end in in tackle setup. Yeah. Um, I mean, you place quite a high importance on hiding your lines from, from carp. Yeah, really and pinning it down at the bottom, yeah. Sure. So obviously lead core, that's that's one of the main things of, uh, or one of the main properties of lead yeah. core. I don't think I'd do any fishing without lead core. Um, this is just a brilliant, ma brilliant material and everything. It just improves my fishing by, yeah, quite well, a lot. For like a hundredfold. Yeah, definitely. Well, we're into another fish now. Uh, this one came on the method again which is basically just a feed ball that's molded around your lead like the old faithful milli bomb it's a baiting situation that we'll be explaining a bit later to you as well um, and the end tackle presentation that this one was taken on Bernay is not here at the moment just went to just had a walk around um, so I'm playing these fish Till he comes back. I think yeah, he's brushing down. So just hand his rod over quickly to him. There you go. Thank you very much. Once you actually play a fish on one of these Dawa windcast reels, that's what fishing partners are for. You really get to appreciate the the smoothness of the drag system and and the quality of the reel. Another stunning example of the sort of average stamp of fish that the river can deliver. Um, this one was fooled on a safety clip system with a short lead core leader and uh, the hook bait was a double tiger nut fished over a little bit of particles. So we'll quickly get this one back and see what else we can get out. 